guys, if we could rank like B to D sasses, you know when you do that S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, when it comes to underrated B to D sasses or just sasses in general, Serpa.dev has to be in the discussion. Um, I don't see many people talking about this tool when it comes to lead gen, but it is an amazing tool. It's really, really cheap. The founder, Roger, great guy. Um, and yeah, you could use it to programmatically search Google for anything. And as you know, Google is the biggest web scraper. So you need to be leveraging Google. So whether that's a Google search to see restaurants near me and scrape them all, a Google map search to find accounting firms and scrape those all in a certain area, a video search to find YouTube videos, you can do so much with Serpa Dev. And before I go here, let me pause. Okay, I had to pause it because I know my API key was present. So I had to just, I had to just remove my API key. Now, how do we use Serpa? So let me get right into it. So now imagine you are a growth operator. Um, this is a, a new thing now where people are working with like content creators that have a large following and they basically say, look, you have a large following. I can help you monetize your following. Now, how could you programmatically find these people that you could work with? I mean, you could scroll through Instagram, quite time consuming. You could scroll through YouTube, quite time consuming, or you could use Serpa and programmatically find all of these people. And let's, let's for now, let's go with YouTube videos because um, this one's quite an untapped one, but I'm giving it away because I don't know why, but I'm giving it away. So as you can see here, um, a Google search, how to start a drop shipping store, right? For whatever reason, let's say we want to reach out to drop shipping people, influencers and say, look, you guys have a big following. Let me help you build a course around your, your personal brand, right? Or your brand on Instagram or on YouTube. Now, if I go through here, it's a bunch of, you know, oops, some videos. Nice. Let's click on this one. A bunch of different stuff. Um, it's not really valuable because that where are the influencers, right? However, what you can do, if you just click this video button, boom, bunch of people, some which are quite well known, Jordan Welch, a few others, that you could actually scrape to get their um, YouTube links and actually then go through it, find their emails or just reach out to them if they have like an Instagram in their description, for example. So how would I do that using my trusted clay? Search query, how to start a dropshipping store. And then when we open up this HTTP column, we're making a call to Serpa, literally just here, video, and then whatever. And I can't show the code because it'll show my API key, but I can show you here just, and then the query is the search query. So if I pass in, I'll start a dropshipping store and bam, now it's going to run and it's going to return the dropshipping stores for me. If I click here, videos, it's got 10 videos. And as you can see, it's literally programmatically gone and found the top 10. Now, what you can do on Serpa is you can actually change the number um, and you can add like a num and then paste in the number. So you can make it 100. I think 100 is the max, I believe. Um, so you can get 100, company, 100 YouTube videos at a time and then change it to how to start a, a Amazon FBA store, how to start a clay agency, how to start... A personal branding agency you get the gist just to get people that have a quite a big brand and then reach out to them for your influencer service whatever it is that you do right so now this isn't very helpful though so what you can actually do is you can write all of these people to a table so you can literally just come here and just take action on the list write each item to a new row in another table so we can make a new table blank one, select a list from a column, we'll do videos and then add values. We can make one and say the link and we could call it the link. We can make another one here and call it the title, call the title. And then we can make another one here, where the channel. Maybe we want to know like who actually created this content. So we'll just do channel. If I hit save and run, it's now going to write all of those um, 10 videos to a table, which looks like so. So now I can more easily process this information. So this is one way how we use Serpa, um, very, very simple. But I want to show you another way before I make this video too long. And that is, if we come back to this table here, we had these 12 companies from, if you watched the previous video, which I hope you did, I hope you didn't skip to this one. We, let's say, I have these SEO agencies, right? But I want to basically, okay, imagine these are accounting firms 
And I basically want to call out and say, hey, you're not ranking for accounting firms near me or accounting firms in in London, right? Because like that, if you send an email saying that, it's going to really hit home. They're going to be like, damn, like, we're not ranking for that. How can you help us? It comes across as very, very personal. And it's quite an easy way to actually do this. First things first. Now, when we got those information from Apollo, we got the company location, which is the United States. So SEO services in the United States. Hey, Andrew, you're not ranking for SEO services in the United States. That doesn't really talk to me because United States is a big country. So is United Kingdom. It's a big space. However, what we can do here is we're using lead magic, as I showed you before, to actually go and find the city of where this company is located. So if I click this, you can see you come in here, you hit headquarters and then all this information and then we post in the city. So now the search query is SEO services in Las Vegas, SEO services in Folsom, in Providence, in, oh my gosh, in wherever. So now when you reach out saying, hey, you guys aren't ranking for SEO services in your city, now we're going to be a lot more interested in what you have to say. And all you've got to do is same again, but using the search one this time, not the video one, we're passing in the search query or we are about to, the search query being search query, and then we'll save and run the rows and then we'll wait for a second and I'll show you what we can do. So what this will do is it will turn, it will return 10 results, right? 10 results um, and the links to companies, etc., etc. Now, what you can then do quite simply, I won't share it here. If you want me to show you how to do this, let me know. And I have a video I can send to you. What we can do is we can basically go through each of these of these um, these 10 results and basically say, hey, does this company appear in these top 10 results? If they do, let's leave them alone because, hey, they're pretty good at SEO. If they're not, which they probably aren't, we can basically extract them and say they're not ranking in the top 10. And if they're not, then we can reach out saying, hey, you guys aren't ranking in the top 10. If we could do this, can we send you this? Can we provide this? You get the gist. So these are the two main ways we're using Serpa. Searching like a search to see if, if something ranks um, or getting like influencer leads through Instagram or through um, YouTube. Yeah.